All right. Hello, everybody. Travis Chandler, Chandler Gaming, back with the next episode of Mass Effect 3. Last episode, we went to Tachanka. We saved the Primarch's son, which we didn't actually save him. He died uh, defusing a bomb. We uh, took out a Cerberus base at a um, cannon facility. And then we cured the Genophage. So we are working all right. Let's resume. See, look at the steam coming up from the coffee. That's just impressive they were able to do something like that. The data pad scroll in, you know, that's just, it's just amazing what they was able to do back when this game first came out. I think it was 2014? Might have been 20, no, it's 2012. It's 2012, that's right, 2012. All right, give it a second here, trying to avoid the lag, which, here we go. All right, I got to show you something really neat here. Bethany, you see the bids of the Maw taking down the Reaper? Man, I wish I could have been there. I'm just glad the diplomats are off the ship. A Krogan and a Turian in the same room is a fight waiting to happen. Alright, now watch this. Remember when you used to walk up to this and I'd have to sit here and wait and let the stupid thing scan me? What? I didn't have to stand there? Well, guess what? I got brave. I grew the balls to... Commander, Admiral Hackett has requested your help with a Cerberus fighter base on Navaria. Cool. Um, but I, I got the balls... To, I grew the balls to mod the game. I downloaded the ME3 Tweaks application and I uh, downloaded some mods. Um, this is the only mod I did for this game because this game doesn't really need a lot for mods. Um, I did one for two and I did four of them for one. Look at that galaxy map. Do you know how many strategy games are built from that interface? You play strategy games? A few. Most are too flashy though. I prefer chess. I have a set made from rose quartz and hematite back home. I like the feel of something solid in my hands. Well, now that I know your weakness, we may have to try a game. <laughs> It'd be more fun than playing Edie. Edie doesn't sweat. You sweat playing chess? Depends on how much fun we're having. Okay. We're gonna go talk to the crew, too. The Alliance News Network. Um, they're talking about Pharos fighting the Reaper, the Reapers. Tiala, she's the um, Azari we saved on Pharos. She's like, oh, we're fighting, we're fighting, we're fighting. General Corinthus. Er, not Rex. He's like, oh, we're gonna, we're fucking now, and we're gonna make a shit ton of, of babies. And then the Dalatras here, she's pissed off that we um, cured the genophage because she's a racist. So. But we got the Zeus Hope colonists. Nice.
Oh, Edie's in her core, huh? Okay. We'll check out to see what Edie wants. I'm glad to see we have Garrus back. I wanted to help with his scars, but I think he actually likes them. Yeah, they're battle scars. Why wouldn't he like them? What are you up to now? I'm uploading data on the destroyed Reaper to the Turians. They are investigating possible Reaper structural weakness. Our data says Reaper capital ships such as Sovereign are of unique design. However, smaller Reaper destroyers bear similarities. That one was small. Relatively, yes. Ground attack ships are only 160 meters in height. Sovereign was approximately two kilometers. Well, keep talking to the Tyrians. If there's a chink in the Reaper's armor, we all need to know it. Hey, that's cool that Edie's helping out. Is Garrus in here? No, he's not. Where is Garrus? Oh, he's in the bridge. Uh-huh, all right. Any sign of life? The Reaper destroyed by the Thresher Maw appears to be completely inert, Doctor. We would need to send in teams to be sure. Out of the question. Tell the Krogan to stay away. The Genophage cured. The Krogan have no reason to hold back now, do they? And here's a traffic report of the mass relays. <clears throat> no upgrades, okay? Please enjoy your day. All right. Well, then we'll go down some more. Down, down, down to the bottom of the sea. Settling in, Javik? I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. That is not my purpose here. Also, I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of the ship is strong. How so? I have been exploring. There are traces of those who lived on the Normandy before. I detected a human female. Her genetic structure was unnatural, as if artificially created. Sounds like Miranda. And a drill. There was illness in him. Thane. And the Krogan we met, who lived in these quarters. He was undergoing a metamorphosis. His memories were confused, not organic to his mind. There was great confusion and turmoil. I still can't wrap my head around that. We're reading information like you do. For my people, it was as natural as breathing. Evolution's an amazing force. Our scientists believed it was the only force in the galaxy that mattered. They called it the Cosmic Imperative. The strong flourished, the weak perished. The governments of your cycle seem concerned with ensuring the survival of all. Was this imperative just your scientists' opinion? Or did they prove something we don't know? The universe had already proven it. They only had to look around. And saw what exactly? Extinction is the rule of law in the cosmos, the natural order of things. The weakest species are doomed. We can't afford any weak links in this war. They drain our resources. They can become a resource of their own. How? Oh. If the Reapers are busy conquering the weak, they are not watching you. So, use them as a distraction. All strategies must be considered, and few are too extreme. Though I do not think your Asari approves of my beliefs. Liara? I think she just had a different idea about what Protheans were like. We are all a product of our time. Had I been born in this cycle, perhaps I would be the noble scholar she wishes me to be. You think you'd like that? It's a whole different line of work. I wouldn't know. 
Living a life of constant war. Taking life in every battle. I see how it could be tough to see outside the box. It is the only box I have known. It shapes me. As stone is shaped by the one who carves it. This stone has no choice in the form it will take. You and I, Commander. War is our sculptor. And we are prisoners to its design. Maybe not much longer. We win this, and we'll both be set free. Uh, I like Javik. He's cool. Javik's cool. I remember the first time I played this game, I freaked the fuck out that you... This beats the hell out of reporting on the Milgram City Council. I don't think I've heard of Milgram. Which place is that again? Reckenstein. It's right next door to the Citadel. I'm a colony kid. Yeah, I remember freaking the fuck out that you got a Prothean in your team. Commander, got a minute? What do you want to know? You've just implemented a cure for the Genophage. Millions of Krogan will start fighting the Reapers. What do you say to people who think humanity is starting another Rachni War and Krogan Rebellions? It's easy to remember the worst of Krogan history, but you also need to remember the best. Meaning? The Krogan were heroes once, and they want to be heroes again. We're giving them that chance. Are you aware that Clan Erdnot is already petitioning the Council for an embassy and rights to a colony world? The Krogan are coming to the aid of a Council homeworld. That's more than a lot of species can say. I help them get the Genophage cure. Anything more is between the Council and the Krogan. There it is, straight from Commander Shepard. Until tomorrow, this is Diana Allers. Good night and stay strong. Okay, I'll cut that together with the rest of the segment and send it to command for approval. See, I like doing, uh... I like doing, uh, interviews. She's cool about her interviews, you know? She's cool about her interviews. Hey, Esteban, for your shuttle being so stealthy and all, you sure do get shot at a lot. Well, the UT-47A stealth systems only internalize heat and high band emissions. So while few sensors can pick us up, our cover is blown as soon as someone looks up. Time for an upgrade. Most scanners and tracking systems don't operate in mid-range frequencies. Sure, maybe we've been shot at, but we haven't been shot down. Yet. Lucky for us, you're almost as good a pilot as you think you are. Well, yeah. There's that, too. There we go. I know it's more expensive to buy from here, but for what I think is coming up next, I think I'm going to need everything, so take the gauntlets. We'll definitely take the Metagel upgrade. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, I need to go to the office, too, and check on stuff, don't I? On... Thought I upgraded it. Parts of Tachunka reminded me of the desert back home. The lizards and worms are bigger, but, you know, the sand and everything. That last job on Tachunka was intense. 
I tried providing air support, but the sky was so full of Cerberus, it was like someone kicked a hornet's nest. But I believe we can play chess. Nope, not yet. Does power recharge? Fuck that. Okay. I already get a pretty fast, um, Power recharge. What do we need the... Okay. Okay, so we're ready to move on with some quests. We're going to do the optional stuff first, as usual. And he wants to speak to me in engineering. Chief Adams do. Didn't know that, so we'll need to go check him out. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The ship was a spacefaring vessel before Edie even existed. Engineer Donnelly is correct. The Normandy SR2 was completely spaceworthy prior to my installation. See, Edie agrees with me. Edie's mind and the Normandy are a whole entity now. You couldn't just move the processors in the AI core to another ship. Engineer Adams is correct. Processes that contribute to my self-awareness are spread throughout the ship. See? Edie agrees with me. But unlike Edie, our brains couldn't have existed without our bodies. That is a requisite from being organic. You have to look beyond that limited definition of life. Joker pilots the Normandy. He doesn't take over Edie's body when he does that. When Edie controls the ship, she's piloting, just like Joker. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger. The Normandy is a ship. Edie is a collection of processing hardware contained in that ship. Those are two separate things. Doesn't the existence of the Reapers contradict that? So what do you think, Edie? Are we more than our thoughts? I'm done. Any more of this and my head's gonna explode. <laughs> Adams would like to speak to you. Commander, I've identified a problem with our engines. A core overload could cause a plasma vent within the engineering compartment. Daniels, Donnelly, Edie, and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle. At the same moment, the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic... What Kenneth means to say is that we're pretty sure we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. I'll look for one next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. Alright. Now we need to go to the bridge and see what Garrus is up to. turn. What's the first order an Alliance commander gives at the start of combat? Um, uh, I give up. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> All right, big guy. What do you call it when a Turian gets killed by a horrible spiky monster? A friendly fire. Come on, that one goes back to Shang-Chi. How you gotta respect the classics? How many humans does it take to activate a dormant mass relay? 
602. 600 to vote on it, one to ask the Asari for technical help, and one to request a seat on the council afterward. How do you know when a Turian's out of ammo? He switches to the stick up his ass as a backup weapon. Why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? Oh, shit! You're shitting me! The Turian military has one about me? Oh, absolutely. I heard it myself from a private back on Palavin. All right, why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? So their Marines can beat someone in hand-to-hand -hand drills. <laughs> Damn, you need to tell James that one. Hey, what's the hardest part about treating a Turian who took a rocket to one side of his face? Figuring out which side took the rocket. <laughs> I love Garrison Joker. Never thought I'd see the Krogan and the Turians team up. Even the Reapers have to be a little nervous about pissing them off. I'd say more than a little. I'm sorry about, uh, not Morden. His name was Paddock. Yeah, I guess it was. So now that we got the Krogan and the Turians, what now? The Krogan help us turn the tide on Palavin. They can shoot at something useful for a change. Dig till we hit daylight, huh? Works for me. So how does it feel knowing Krogan will be singing songs about you until the end of time? I think it would be an honor. There's enough misery in this universe. It's nice to see something go right for a change. Can't say I've ever really witnessed history in the making like this. Well, except for Sovereign attacking the Citadel, and then there was the Collector base, but... This one felt good. And let's hope Rex keeps running the show on Tachanka. Maybe we should hire a food taster for him. Imagine the carnage if someone like that brother of his, Reeve, took over. It could happen. I know. It's a chance we have to take, but I have to say, if it wasn't my own world that needed the help, I might have taken that Salarian deal. I could never bring myself to do that, no matter what I was offered. I admire your restraint, Shepard. It's nice when we can save the galaxy without destroying another race along the way. Let's hope our luck holds. Okay. Why is Garrison Joker so cool? You know? Okay. We're gonna go do another N7 mission. We have plenty of fuel. That's good. Um, Horse Head Nebula. <laughs> Just so we can deal with the Cerberus fighter base. Edie Shields and James, why not? Okay. 
We'll need warp ammo. Headshots. Defense matrix. We'll let you reduce your recharge. That's what we need to do. Damage. All right. Commander, the enemy has a strategic advantage in this sector thanks to the fighter squadron facility you're about to attack. We want to seize it, but their air defenses are too strong for our frontal assault. Losses would be too cost prohibitive. How do you want me to handle this? Go in the back, bring down their defenses so we can send in the troops. Good luck, Commander. I have visual contact. There's a small platform above the main landing pad. I can drop you there, but it's got to be now. Let's do it. Yeah, it's gonna say, damn it. Give me fucking warp ammo. My guests are down here. They are. found the control center. Damn it. This will take a while. Commander, you've got enemies inbound and we can't wait. Someone's got to get those defenses down ASAP. Edie, front and center. As you command. Be ready, Commander. You're going to get swarmed. Commander, I've been flushed from cover. Retreating to minimum safe distance. No problem, Cortez. Get out of there. We'll wait for your all clear, then relay to the strike force. Warning. Security breach. Initiating lockdown, Zales. Spring down their defenses. We'll worry about that later. Requires the synchronous command. Defense system deactivated. General Order 7 
slash seven triggered. Establish contingency defenses. Cerberus is deploying manual defenses to the landing pad, Shepard. Then that's where we need to go. And that's where we're going. Once we explore in here. Are you little son of a bitch? Cortez, you're trying to break through the interference. Cortez, I read you. Come in. There you are, Commander. Had to get through the interference. Area clear. Signaling the strike force. Wait. Scan's picking up something coming your way. Proximity alert. Deploying armed response. Atlas! Give it everything you've got. And that's how you deal with that asshole. Anyone wounded? Negative, Shepard. Copy that, Lieutenant. Coming in to pick you up. There we go. That's how you deal with them sons of bitches. This was a major victory, Commander. A crippling blow to Cerberus operations in this sector. Now all we have to do is maintain control of the facility. Cerberus won't make that easy. And we won't make it easy on them. Thanks to you, we can use their own defenses against them. Tell your team they did good, Commander. You should be proud. Thank you, sir. That's all. Hack it out. All right. So we got that and done. seemed popular for a while. They were fighting the Collectors while the Council sat and watched. And now they're killing civilians and attacking our allies. Commander, there's a new message at your private terminal. All right, so another Erdnot said, Thank you for curing the genophage. We can pop out babies now. Our females can shit out babies. Ooh, we can go to the Attican Bay. We may as well do that. Do some exploration. Beans, we have a little money now. We, ooh, there's Theseus. Signal confirmed. Pharos. We're gonna scan Pharaoh, see what we get here. Exo Jenny Scientists. Hell yeah, we'll take them. Nothing there. Nothing. 
There it is. We found it. We found it. It's the wreckage. Hell yeah. Now we need to get out of here. Sayonara, suckers. I don't know why that was so funny back in the day. I, I don't know why. It was just so funny. We found it. We'll take the fuel. We'll take the fuel. Sayonara, suckers! <laughs> Does this one have one? I think so. We'll have to find out. Oh, wait, is this where Grissom Academy is? Eluded. Get out of here. I want to see if this one has any. I don't think it does, but we'll have to see. It doesn't. Son of a bitch. It doesn't have any. Light jump successful. Fine, are suckers. <laughs> all right, I think that's all. You maybe not. Okay, I think maybe you. Signal confirmed. Okay, what do we get here? Nice, an upgrade. successful found it that's what I was looking for all right get the hell out of here Reapers eluded Sonora suckers Than light jump successful. There we go. The dreadnought. We'll take a bullet dreadnought for a war asset.
evasion successful. There it is. Give me the fuel. I knew there was fuel here. We needed it. We needed it. Reapers eluded. Signal confirmed. An engineering team for the from the Volus. Well, so faster than light jump successful. Whoa. Evasion successful. There it is. We found it. We found it. Reapers eluded. All right. We'll grab it and then get the hell out of here. Why it drives me nuts, I don't know, but it does if I don't get all the assets. It, it just does. It drives me the hell nuts. Faster than light jump successful. There's something. A rune. There's a rune. I was looking for that one. Okay. All right. Cool. No, we'll have to come back for it. Evasion successful. We'll have to come back for it. There we go. There's wreckage. Reapers eluded. <laughs> they almost got me there. They almost caught me. <laughs> yeah, they did. They almost got me too. Oh. Faster than light jump successful. Okay. Now we can go meet with the Salarian counselor. Okay. Oh, what's going on here? SSV Normandy, are we clear to descend? Alliance Control, this is Normandy. We're headed to Bay 1-4, Zakara Ward. Are we clear to descend? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! What the hell's going on down there? Even if there were a station malfunction, they'd have backups online. I got a bad feeling here. Checking emergency channels. Hey, yeah, this is Joker. Uh-huh. Yeah, no kidding. Commander, there's a communication from Thane. He says it's important. I think you'll want to hear this. Put him through. Shepard, the Citadel is under attack. Cerberus troops are everywhere and they're in control of the docks. Are you safe? No. I had to evade their commandos at the hospital. I'm in a Presidium storefront. Did Ashley make it out? We got separated. She said she had to protect the Council. I'm going to CSEC headquarters. Why CSEC headquarters? It's been compromised, and CSEC's response depends on it. As long as Cerberus is holding the headquarters, they have the station. Alright. Joker, 
Get us away from the docks and close to CSEC HQ. We'll deploy in the shuttle. Aye, aye, Commander. Okay. Davik. And Garrus. There we go. Headshots for you and for Paul. We'll do radius. This is a fun one. This one's a fun one. Look around, make sure. Make sure there's no items in here. Your guys will take care of the re remaining guys. Yeah, you're okay, Bailey. We'll just let you chill for a minute. We want to get the items that we can. Okay, we're all good. I saw those Cerberus troops on you. I thought you were done for. Bailey, what are you doing here? Getting my ass shot off trying to retake headquarters. Cerberus took it in the first push. We gotta kick them out of there. Everyone in C-Sec's flying blind without the network. How bad's the situation? Do you know if the counselors are alive? They split up. I'll know more if I can access the terminal inside. Can you get us in? I'll get the door. If no one interrupts me with a bullet this time.
Here we go, CSAT network access, courtesy of Cerberus. How's that gonna help? Cerberus has control of the main channels, but I can set up a new one. Without it, our people have no plan and no chance. Hello. What have you got? A warning from Counselor Valern. He's supposed to be here meeting with the Executor. Be on guard. The likelihood of betrayal from within is high. Not a lot else. But if he's inside... Why would the Counselor be meeting with the Executor? Usually it means someone big's about to be prosecuted. I guess that someone had Cerberus friends. The Counselor mentioned Udina. But that's insane. Does he even have this kind of pull? Well, you know who'd have the answer to that? The Counselor. One Counselor's better than zero. Where am I headed? He could be in the Executor's office. It's a fairly defensible position. I'm on it. Just a sec. There. Now we can talk by Omnitool. Go! Dane, did you hear all that? Yes. I'm nearing the building, but running is difficult. I'll try to get to you. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> Which way are you gonna go, motherfucker? Here we go. You're dead. Oh, a fucking engineer, huh? Bye bye. Here, there's no items over here. There isn't. Again, you you see, look at that! I found a piercing mod for the assault rifle. Troops in the lobby. They were dug in. I can see more through the cameras. They're all over the station. Security doors have been sealed for your protection. We took out that guardian. <laughs> Burned him to a crisp. <laughs> Shit, I hit the trigger by accident. God damn it. <laughs> That's okay. Sometimes that happens. My finger just hits the trigger. Doesn't happen often, but it does happen. Recon hood, we'll take that. I want to take a look. See, look at that. There's a weapon right here. Locker. Cerberus. Didn't even drag him out into the hall. There we go. Complete. Access enabled. A weapon bench. Any survivors in there? None yet. Damn it. Keep looking. It is cool they make you shoot the latch just to open the the cover of whatever it is you're 
thing to work on. I think that was a cool little thing they did. I could see where people would say, Lamont, you alive? You are giving away our position. If gunfire doesn't put them on notice, I sure won't. Nice, upgraded to four. My piercing mod. I want to check to make sure we get all the items here because there are items. We'll take that. We'll take that. The Hornet. We'll take that. See, we just got some credits. Door control. Boom, we got them both in one shot. <laughs> nice. We've got to be close now. Yeah, there's a stairwell further on. Executor's office is right above it. Let's hope we're not too late. Well, we're gonna check here first. Some credits. We're looping this transmission in the hope it gets through. These tech forces are urgently needed at the comm towers. They went ahead, which I'm not happy about, but... Another piercing mod for the sniper rifle this time. Bailey, looks like they got the executor and two Solarian bodyguards. Keep searching. If you don't see the counselor's body, don't count him out yet. There he is. Found him. He looks unharmed. Get him somewhere safe. Kai Lang! Don't even think about it. Shepard, he's going to kill us all! That remains to be seen. I mean, Odina, he's staging a coup. He's got the other counselors now to hand over to Cerberus. Three on one, pal. It's over. No. No, it's fun. After getting stabbed, there he was. 
Oh! How bad is it? I have time. Catch him. Shepard, what's going on up there? Thane needs medical help fast, and I need to take care of an assassin. He must be going after the rest of the Council. Get the word out. Odina's trying to seize power. I've got to get to the Councilors. They're being taken to a shuttle pad on the Presidium. Start driving. I'll try to raise them on the comm. I've got a fix on the Council's position. I'm sending it to your car. Good work, Bailey. We're almost there. <laughs> on foot now. Any luck contacting the Council? Negative. Their guards are dead. But we've still got vital signs on the Council's transponders. Where are they going? The shuttle pad above Shalmar Plaza. Dean is with them. If he can get them in range of that assassin, this is all over. On my way. Did someone take down... Yes, they did! Somebody took down that freaking phantom like they were nothing. What's up here? Nothing but a bit of ammo? There we go, bitch. They don't like to hold still, do they? <laughs> did I just kill him with a? I did. Look at that. I knew he was around somewhere. They sealed it behind them. Up and over. I think that's the way to go. Yep. Over we go. We'll take the credits. I'm at Shalmar Plaza. Where's the town?
Ah, got them all from this far. Nice. All right, let me check for items. Because you never know, there might be something to scan or something. You never know. Up is where we go. Okay, I'm in the shaft. Hang on, this will be a fast climb. Tell me that assassin hasn't reached the council. He's trying, but I'm making his elevator stop on every floor. Nice. I found our friend. Kill his elevator. There's a power conduit beneath it. Good riddance. Incoming phantoms. Here we go! Shepard, bad news. Is there any other kind? That hitman jumped to another elevator and he's overridden my controls. He's on his way up. I can't stop him. I'll handle it. Here they come! Shepard? I see them. Jump! What was that? Gunman, get down! Oh, shit! Go! Damn it! Cerberus hit the shuttle! Everybody back to the elevator! Shepard? Shepard's blocking our escape. He's with Cerberus. Everybody, hang on. Shepard, what's happening here? Get out of the way, Ash. I can't do that. Would I do this if I wasn't dead certain, Ash? If I weren't right? Budina's behind this attack. The Solarian Counselor confirmed it. Please, you have no proof. You never do. There are Cerberus soldiers in the elevator shaft behind us. If you open that door, they'll kill you all. We've mistrusted Shepard before, and it did not help us. We don't have time to debate this. We're dead if we stay out here. I'm overriding the lock. I'm gonna regret this. No. You're not. Udina, step back from the console. To hell with this! Gun! Right in the heart! Right in the heart! Get the council back and cover that door! The door! Bailey? 
Made it as fast as we could, Shepard. Looks like you uh, took care of things. Something's not right. You said Cerberus was targeting us. Where did their soldiers go? Cerberus was right here, but they beat feet into the Keeper Tunnels when they figured out we were coming. Sorry, Counselor, I'll say it plain. Shepard just saved the lot of you. And you have saved my life twice now, Shepard. I owe you both a personal debt, and one on behalf of Palavan. You don't owe me anything, Counselor. Times like this, we all stand together. Commander, do you have any idea why the elusive man would do this? No, I don't. But I plan to find out. All right, people. Principals are evacuated. We got a tunnel and a million more places to secure. Move it! Yes? Things didn't go as planned. The Council's still in control of the Citadel and Udina's den. Udina was expendable. Now what? There are other plans in motion. I'll fill you in when you return. I'm surprised you let Shepard get the better of you, Ling. It won't happen again. Hmm. We'll see. We looked over every centimeter of those tunnels, Shepard. Your Cerberus pal is made out of smoke and mirrors. He likes to fight. He'll show up again. Pardon me if I'm not reassured by that. We can't even get an ID on him. He released a VI into the Citadel system that erased footage of him wherever he went. I guess he didn't trust that Adina's plan would come together. That reminds me, we got your friend Thane into work to Memorial. He's in for surgery. Apparently, uh, there's complications. Do you think he'll make it? I caught that they didn't have much drill blood on the Citadel. I notified his next of kin, his son, Koliat. He was the right blood type, but I don't know if he made it in time. We're pretty sure the route to the hospital is safe from Cerberus if you want to see him. Uh, I'd go now. I'll get on it. Oh, and you can tell him the Salarian Counselor says he's a hero. It just, uh, I don't know make things easier for him all right oh don't tell me the game just froze okay it didn't okay so we're gonna go into the specter office Okay, we're gonna authorize the deportation of a con man conning out uh, refugees. And we'll authorize the Grissom Academy students to train here on the Citadel. All right. What do we got here? Heating stabilizers, we need those. Hi, you. Oh, 
All right. This is the Alliance News Network. Please double check all But who needs the heating um, stabilizers? The Arun, I know where that goes. Presidium. Presi well, we need to go to Presidium. Okay. of an enemy we don't understand. Divert to... Do we have any AI-enabled frag, Mr. Sovereign? Any Reaper code I can analyze? No? Well, then they'll keep outmaneuvering our fleet in a sorry world. We keep playing. We can ensure prompting... Okay. Let me see if I can buy that. Then you can help me send my daughter back to my wife's Nope, we can't buy it. Reaper code fragments. We can't buy it. Son of a bitch. I thought maybe we could, but nope, we can't. We can't. Okay. We're going to the Presidium first so we can turn in a couple quests. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. I recovered the Book of Plenix. It's waiting for you in Bay D24. Earth Clan, this is a priceless gift. Thank you. You may help my people remember themselves. It's my money and I'm closing my account. Your account helps fund Citadel Defense. If you shut it down and hide the money under your bed, it hurts the war effort. And if Cerberus attacks again and takes the Citadel, my money is gone. I'll take my chances on my own. Thank you. So you're fleeing the Citadel? Running to Sanctuary? If you trust the Council, you'll stay here. Why should I trust them? They couldn't stop Cerberus. What could they possibly do about the Reapers? Nothing if you take your money and hide. Have you seen Palavin or Earth? You can't escape this war. At least here you've got the Council fighting for you. But to fight, they need money money this bank has loaned them using accounts like yours okay okay damn it I'll leave the account open besides how can some place like sanctuary promise more safety than the citadel you're right guess all we can do is hope for the best mm. Blasted by Cerberus. They think he's just another victim. The Spectre Terminal has been updated. No, the Krogan are the only race that can fight on the toxic world, so they need support. Well, ideally, something like a Cacleus. They're good in mountains, immune to toxins, ferociously loyal to their riders. Yes, they'd be ideal. Unfortunately, they were driven to extinction during the Rachni War. So, unless we can engineer something new, Krogan on toxic worlds will have to fight on foot without support. Okay. Another 
Cerberus trap? Bomb or turret? How many this time? Clear the area until you've done a full sweep. We need a way to find their tech and shut it off safely. No, the crime still doesn't have anything. The tech they got off the bodies of a few Cerberus engineers self-destructed when they took it apart. Not much we can do, except pick up the pieces after another turret guns down on Mom and her kids. These are control schematics for Cerberus turrets. Will these help? Damn right they will. I'll have E-Crimes dig into them. Might even help us find the little present Cerberus left for us. Thanks a lot. This is gonna save lives. Large scorch marks, looks like three fatalities. Entire area shot to hell. Precision shots. I heard the guests use jamming towers to prevent the attack. You want my security vids? Bring me a warrant. You stonewalling me? Those vids could be vital for the war effort. I doubt the Reapers have agents doing business in my cafe. We're trying to protect you. Hell of a job. See those scorch marks? Cerberus killed one of my servers right there. Where were you? Hey, I lost friends too. If you care about finding the Cerberus informants who made it happen, you'll give me the vids. We're at war. If you care about the safety of the Citadel, you'll help CSEC however you can. Thank you, Commander. I have some high-profile customers. If word gets out that I'm ratting them out to CSEC, you think I care about insider trading, electronic smuggling right now? I'm after the bastards who attacked the Cerberus. Nobody else. You've got my word. All right. Just I hope it helps. Okay. So we got that dealt with. Damn it. If we'd kept digging a few hours longer, we'd have gotten the obelisk of Karza. I know the Hades Nexus is off limits. I'm not an idiot. Damn it, the Alliance needs that thing right now. The obelisk of Karza was supposed to contain Prothean language translations, like the Rosetta Stone for Protheans. Think of how much it could have helped us understand. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds from today's purchases go to the Praetorian War effort. Hello, Shepard. Move be damned. People have a right to defend themselves. If you start selling weapons to everyone in the city, C-Sec will shut this whole place down. C-Sec couldn't protect us when Cerberus attacked. I'll take him to court. You think a court is going to want more people running with guns right now? Then I'll go to the wards and sell from the back room at Purgatory. People are already scared. If you violate weapons laws, they'll just be scared and trigger happy. We're at war. If the Citadel gets attacked again, everybody needs to fight. The Commander's right. It's not like those Reaper things care about hurting civilians. But selling weapons to just anyone makes it easier for groups like Cerberus to get a hold of them. Cerberus attacked the Citadel with military-grade weapons and powered armor. I doubt they need one of my pistols. Okay, you're right. Just... just be careful. Hey, who do I turn the heating stabilizers into? I know they're around here. Shepard, do you have a minute? Can I help you? Jordan Knowles, E-Crimes. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. I've got a saboteur hacking key systems, power, communications. It's bad. If you've got time to help, check out this console. Got it. it. Looks like a collection of access codes. They're Batarian diplomatic codes, from back when they had an embassy on the Citadel. If you can use your Spectre access to find them, I can shut them down. I can access restricted intel at the Spectre office in the embassy. If I find anything, I'll let you know. We have to keep enforcing the law. Same as always. Without that, everything goes to hell. Look at Palavin, my friend. We're in hell. We should be looking for terrorists. The rest can take care of itself. So the bar fights, the drunken disorderlies down by that purgatory place? How does cracking down on that crap help us win the war? People need to blow off steam right now. 
And how does letting the misdemeanors go help the war? Less time spent on the light stuff means the Citadel has more money for defense. Everyone on the Citadel knows we're at war now. Cerberus caught C-Sec by surprise last time. You need to make sure that never happens again. That's what I'm saying. Forget the small stuff. Support defense and security and take down anyone who threatens the peace. You make it sound like we're under martial law. After a coup attempt during wartime, maybe we should be. Yeah. Maybe you're right. I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Maybe these heating stabilizer schematics could help? This is amazing. The colonists, my sister, will be most pleased. Thank you. I am in your debt. All right, we got that turned in. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Why you're suddenly so conflicted? Look, the asshole's in custody now. Killing him won't bring anyone back. It's about justice. The man is a traitor and a murderer. You saw what he did to your wife, to my husband. And didn't bat an eyelash. He's evil, there's no doubt. What's going on here? I'm in position at CSEC. Draw them away, and I'll move in and make the kill. Don't answer that. Alright, cool. If he's a terrorist, he ought to be locked up. Okay, so now we need to go back to the um, Spectre office so we can see the new updates to the terminal. One moment, please. Now arriving at Pythidium and Elysium was attacked, but Alliance forces were able to evacuate. Look, I filled out all the forms for my state and jumped through every hoop. I don't even know where Neota is. We'll enable the Batarian access code so we can find where they are. Okay. CSEC wants surveillance warrior warrants to find evidence that would incriminate Cerberus informants on Citadel. And then we're going to authorize some weapon sales. Okay. Now we need to go see Thane and get to the console. Joker and Cortez is in purgatory. So we might... And we need to see... Okay, so we need to go to the... Presidium again. Go all the way to the C sec post. Again. God, there's just so much shit to do here on the Citadel. There really is. And I wish you didn't have to do all this boring shit, but you do. You do. All this running back and forth horse shit. I mean that's that's what drives me nuts of these modern games. You gotta run back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And it's just for them to pad the game time. That's all the hell this is. If I was his doctor, I'd pull the plug. You don't want to You could lead us to other stuff. Commander Shepard. Guess I know what happened to my backup. Excuse me? Come on, 
I'm in C-Sec in civilian gear with a weapon. I know what I'm made. Just let me explain. Captain Aaron Summers, Alliance Marines, retired. Captain Summers? There's a prisoner here. C-Sec officer who helped Cerberus. C-Sec caught him when you stopped the coup. Now he's offering them intel on Cerberus to get a better deal. Why are you telling me this? Because he doesn't deserve a better deal. He killed people during the coup, good people. And he's former Alliance, like us. The way I figure it, he's our problem to fix. Officer, I'm Commander Shepard. You have a prisoner here, a Cerberus informant? I'm invoking Spectre Authority to take charge of him. Do what you have to do. Thank you, Commander. All right. Cool. <laughs> so we pretty much let that guy go and kill the prisoner. <laughs> So did you tell the refugee camp who wore it was here? I tried. Okay, now we're gonna go to Purgatory so we can see everybody there. Spectre status recognized. One moment, please. Now arriving at ward level, Purgatory. How's the head? Good. Gosh, it's almost gone. Good. When I heard you were injured. That was stupid. I should have ducked when that wall came down. Something good has come out of all this, though. Got new equipment. Sent me a set of Vortex armor. Man, summoning supplies shouldn't mess that one up. Oh, I've heard those are pretty good. It's great. It'd only be safer inside a tank. That's why Vortex gear costs more than I make in a year. Lower bar. Look at this! All it took was a Cerberus attack on the Citadel to get folks around here to pay attention to the war. How is this any different from normal? Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. Look at the arms. If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking stupid on the dance floor. That's surprisingly observant. I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which... Dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and Edie? Why not? Because I could break a bone just from some light over-the-clothes action? That's always a risk. But then so are the Reapers. Yeah, I wasn't planning on dating Harbinger. You know what I mean. If we all ended up dead this time tomorrow, what would you regret? Getting a shattered pelvis and a broken heart. Such a stupid idea. If you could be out there right now on the dance floor, would you be waving your arms? Yeah. Sounds like you've got bigger things to worry about than looking stupid. Yeah, guess I do. Now, if you'll excuse me. Well, they say he's here, but he's not. Oh, there's Jack. Ugh, this sucks. What have you got there? Duty roster for the students. It's what I do for fun now. They've got us spread out across Alliance units. Reinforcing barriers, modding ammo, that kind of thing. How are they holding up? They are fine. They're not the ones reading duty rosters while on shore leave. Complain if you like, but I think military life suits you. Hey. Running back to the Alliance was your lifelong dream, not mine. 
Come on, plenty of combat, free room and board, and people you can depend on. Yeah, yeah. Maybe your little suicide squad taught me something about teamwork. Speaking of which, thanks. My guys are handling the support stuff well. Still see some action, but they're not on the front lines. They've saved a lot of lives. It'd be a hell of a lot more fun with you. You find bigger fights. But the little shits are useless without me. I gotta stick with them. Cause I'm dependable now, apparently. I blame you for this, Shepard. Come on. What? The duty rosters can wait. Right now, you're on shore leave. <laughs> Shepard, everybody knows you can't dance. Okay. They say Cortez was here, but I guess he's not. Okay. Now. We're gonna go to the hospital first. Vector status recognized. One moment, please. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial no, Hospital. Seeing it here too. We're low on metagel and synthetic blood, and we don't have enough volunteers. If we could get the rings of a loon from the Salian Nebula. You could declare a cultural crisis. People would have to listen. No, they're not just symbolic. The Asari were here. We were deployed to Tiptree. It's a small human colony. We were supposed to help with evac. The enemy was landing. Just scouts, the Turian things, a few of them. Big ones. We were spread over half the continent, getting colonists to shuttles. Wiping out husks. It sounds like you were doing good work. Could I have a gun? I'd feel a lot better. Just tell me what happened at Tiptree. Hansel, we need to do that. Knowles, this is Shepard. I found one of the code locations. Okay, I'll shut it down. Just need to authorize your Spectre status. Someone used this to cut off power to a dozen life support machines in the hospital. Okay, that access code is officially disabled. Can you find any more? Can I help you? I'm looking for a drell named Thane Krios. Well, we have a drell, but not under that name. He was injured, stab wound. He's a regular patient here. It's all right, it's all right. I see. The doctors were able to repair a lot of the trauma. However, Mr. Mm. Krios is in the final stages of Keppel's syndrome. At its worst, Keppel's syndrome interferes with his blood's ability to carry oxygen. And he lost a lot. Now they've given him transfusions, but frankly, there was a very limited supply of Drell blood on the Citadel. I'll get more. Give me his blood type. That's not going to work. Only one other Drell on the station is a match, and that Drell is in with him now. 
We did all we could to help him through surgery, but his body can't replace lost blood with new cells. Too much shock. His son, Koliat, he's in there saying his goodbyes. You might want to say yours. Commander Shepard, my father mentioned you were no longer incarcerated. I don't know if you remember me. I'm Koliak Krios. I came to donate blood and, well, he asked me to take off his oxygen mask so he could be comfortable. I don't think it will be very long. Your father helped me save a lot of lives. I'd like to be here. Of course. Commander, <clears throat> I'm afraid I won't be joining you again. You've done more than enough, Vane. <sighs> that assassin should be embarrassed. <sighs> a terminally ill drow managed to stop him from reaching his target. That's a good point. Pass the word along. There's something I must do before it gets worse. I must... Alahira, mistress of inscrutable depths, I ask forgiveness. Kalahira, whose waves wear down stone and sand. <coughs> Kalahira, wash the sins from this one and set him on the distant shore of the infinite spirit. <coughs> Koliad, you speak as the priests do. You have been spending time with them. I brought a prayer book. Commander, would you care to join me? Kalahira, this one's heart is pure, but beset by wickedness and contention. Guide this one to where the traveler never tires. The lover never leaves. The hungry never starve. Guide this one, Kalahira, and he will be a companion to you as he was to me. something I don't understand. His last moments were those of a hero. Why pray for salvation? The prayer was not for him, Commander. He has already asked forgiveness for the lives he has taken. His wish was for you. Goodbye, Thane. You won't be alone long. Poor Thane. Who are we to choose who lives or dies? That's not what we do. We help our patients, all of them. That's a nice sentiment, but it won't help when we run out of supplies. I've seen this happen in combat before. And we will run out of supplies. Have you seen the projections the administration center made? I have. The situation is going to get worse. What's your point? We can't deny the facts. If we prioritize them, some of our patients are in a much better position to survive. If we take care of them first and ration our supplies, we can save some now and enable ourselves to save more later. We cannot do that. We swore an oath to help the sick regardless of their economic situations or their places in society. Who are we to choose who lives or dies? Everyone makes sacrifices in wartime. You'll make yours sooner or later. I'm sure I will. But I'll do it without betraying my oath or my patience. It's not that simple. If we aren't careful about this now, we'll end up losing everyone. Then we'll find a way. Look, we have more fortunate patients, right? Yes. And I hate to say it, but the fortunate ones have far better survival odds. <laughs> and more credits. So we ask them for donations. To get more supplies. For those without credits. What? Are you saying what I think you're saying? That's... You know, that, that actually might work. Okay. Now where are we going? Um, 
We need to go to the docking bay. The Normandy dock bay. Just to get that console. I thought I already did that one. Yeah, I, I thought I already did that one. Why was it popping up again? Weird. But you know what? I think I'm going to have to call it for this episode. Um, you know, this video's getting long and I'm needing supper, so... Anyway, hope you all had fun this episode. I did. The raid on the Citadel is always fun. So, anyway, I'll see you all in the next video.